Hello, welcome to our second session in Epic Christians of History. You know, you may have heard some people talk about how we received scripture. They give the idea that at some point the church sat down, church leaders, people in power, they looked through a bunch of possible books and they said, eh, this one can stay. They looked at other books and said, not so much. When we look at the person of Irenaeus of Lyons, we see a different kind of story. Irenaeus was a Christian who lived in about 130 AD, so only about 100 years after Jesus was born, after Jesus died and, and was resurrected. And we see in Irenaeus in his writings, uh, the most commonly known of which are against heresies, a growing understanding in the church of two testaments, an Old Testament and a New Testament, and of four Gospels, and of quotes sprinkled throughout Irenaeus' letters that reflect his belief in the scriptures that we know and love today. Oftentimes, you'll hear people say that in 300 and some AD, the church started to get together a canon, and then during the uh, Nicene Council, they decided certain books were okay and certain books weren't, and there was a lot of debate before that. It's true that there has always been in church history debate about what books really should be included or not, but there has also always been a strong consensus about the books that we do have. Irenaeus of Lyons demonstrates that to us, and in his writings, he demonstrates a firm belief in the core of the scripture message, which is found in God the Father sending his son Jesus to live the life of God among human beings and share that life with us through the Holy Spirit. That concept is made clear in Irenaeus' writings. I want to share with you a quote from uh, his writings in Against Heresies. Irenaeus says, True knowledge consists in the doctrine of the apostles and the ancient constitution of the church throughout the world and the distinctive manifestation of the body of Christ according to the succession of the bishops, being guarded and preserved without any forging of scriptures by a very complete system of doctrine and neither receiving addition nor suffering curtailment in the truths which she believes. True knowledge consists in reading the word of God without falsification and a lawful and diligent exposition in harmony with the scriptures. And above all, it consists in the preeminent gift of love, which is more precious than knowledge, more glorious than prophecy, and which excels all the other gifts of God. In this statement, Irenaeus outlines basic understandings for how you should understand scripture. First of all, he says you need to rely on the traditions, on the church leaders that God has given you, who speak the truth, who live that truth with their lives, and you have to rely on the scriptures that God has given you, the scriptures that God has given the church, the scriptures that the church has relied on for years by the time that Irenaeus writes, and for millennium by the time that we're reading them today. Irenaeus spoke against Marconians, he spoke against uh, Gnostics of his day, who decided that there was secret knowledge that Christians couldn't quite get to. They said that Christians were soulish, but secret knowledge was only attained by the truly spiritual. They said that Jesus really didn't exist in human form. He just simply inhabited a fleshly form. He simply seemed like he was fleshly, but he wasn't really flesh. And I already spoke against that and said, if Jesus was not human being, then nothing that we do matters. If God had not come and embraced human form and made that a part of himself forever and for always, nothing that we do matters, and that we could know that truth because of the truth found in his word. Irenaeus stood on that knowledge, and my question for you is, how is your life based on the foundation of the truth of the word? In what ways have you been willing to change the way that you think, the way that you act, the way that you live, because you believe God's word is true, despite what any other human being or any other source of knowledge will tell you. How do you determine what scriptures are true? Uh, in what way scriptures are true? How do you determine in what way scriptures are true? And how they work into your life? Irenaeus tells us that all scripture is true. All scripture speaks God's message. But how do we determine how that looks in our lives? Those are the questions that Irenaeus' life encourages us to consider. 
And those are the questions that we want to think more about as we look at the lives of epic Christians of history.